Google has released their AI studio and it is amazing. It has many benefits that we didn't see in other offerings such as Claude, Mistral, or obviously OpenAI, the ChatGPT, or the Playground. And we are going to cover everything in this video. Um, it is also free, which is also a very interesting benefit. This is the backend. It looks like the OpenAI Playground. And obviously, there are stuff here that you already know. You can adjust the temperature. You can choose which mo model you want to use. There is this option, which is very nice. You can adjust the amount of safely, safety in your uh, output. So let's say you want to be, be very restrictive. So you can make sure that you toggle, let's say, hate speech. So you block this which basically reduces the probability of having anything related to hate speech in the output. Let me show you block medium or high probability of being harmful or sexually explicit. So block medium or high probability of being harmful. So basically this allows you to censor the output, but these are not the most important and interesting things in Google AI studio. So beyond the fact that it is free, as I said, I don't know if I said this or not. Uh, it has a context window of 1 million tokens, which is a ton of tokens. It has the safety settings. Now let's cover the rest of the interesting things. So first of all, you can come here and you obviously have a chat in which you can discuss. This is pretty straightforward. We all know this. The other uh, ability is you have the free form prompt, which basically allows you to use variables in your prompts and generate results and output way faster. So as an example, we have here, write free short cold image pitching automation services to the following. And here I didn't try, I didn't write SMMA. I have a test input, which in this case I added industry. So this industry, industry is a variable that we can add different inputs to the variable and then produce all the results. So an example here, we have the industry variable and the, let's we, we remove this. And I added dentists, Kairos and SMMA. So let's say I want to write three types of cold emails, pitching automation services to dentists, Kairos, and social media marketing agencies. I can just leave this variable, which is the industry. As you can see here, as soon as I click the different industry, it adjusts the prompt. And then with one run, I can produce all the information and the output for the specific industry. So Let's give you another example. This is something that I did before, but maybe I will show you the example of what was produced. So as I said, I wanted to create free short code image pitching automation automation services to the following industry. And over here, in one click, it generated free emails to each industry. So dear dentist name, are you spending too much time on administrative tasks and not enough time with your patients? Our automation services can help you reclaim your valuable time by blah, blah, blah. And then it uh, added a case study and why automations are so crucial. We have here like three more emails. Now we did the same for Kairos. So dear chiropractor name, I'm reaching out because I know many chiropractors like yourself are looking for, for ways to improve patient care and practice efficiency. And the last one was SMMA, social, social media marketing agency. And then, hey name, I'm reaching out because I noticed SMA name, so the agency name, manages social media for several existing brands. And what I can do here, I can add more industries. So let's say dentist, let's say business consultants, and let's add fitness and weight loss coaches, and let's change the prompt write one 
short called email pitching automation services to the following industry. And now you can see here, we have nothing. The output is empty. As soon as I click the run button, it is going to create output to all of these. So dear dentist name, dear chiropractor name, Hi, name, I'm reaching out because I noticed SMA manages social media. And now we've added dear consultant name. As a business consultant, your expertise is invaluable to your clients, but are you maximizing your own efficiency? And the rest of the email is here. And we have this one. Let's generate the response. So you've reached your late rate limit. So probably there are some rate limitations, but you get the idea and why this is so cool. So basically you can add multiple variables and you can add all of them here these are like just placeholders and you can generate output at scale um, the next thing that i wanted to share with you is the free is the structured prompt which i already created an example over here so basically it's kind of similar to fine tuning what fine tuning does you give the model examples of pairs of input and how you would like the output to be so i created these examples basically this is a tab table that contains a linkedin headline let's say a prospect and his what he does and which company he works for and the output which is going to be an icebreaker because i want to personalize personalize all my outreach i uh, use an icebreaker that is related to the prospect so here we have um, a table of all the inputs, which consists of Jeff Doe, which is uh, something that I invented, a CEO of a machine learning company and an auto, Dana Kim, which is a fractional CFO of direct to consumer brands. And over here, I wrote two examples of an ideal output. So, hey, Jeff, happy to connect. Saw so you in the machine learning space and published a book as well. That's inspiring. Hey, Dana, happy to connect. I also work in the direct to consumer space. Now, what I did here, I just added another input, Yaron being growth marketer, assuming this is my LinkedIn headline. And then I asked the model to generate the output for me. So this is what it generated. Hey, Yaron, happy to connect. Let me make this bigger. Happy to connect. I'm also passionate about growth marketing. Would love to learn more about your work. Let's invent someone new. So let's say Daniel founder and board member in non-profit organization and we click here generate a response and you can see it was it generated the output based on the other examples so hey daniel happy to connect I am impressed by your dedication to the non-profit sector. Would love to learn more about your organization and its mission. Very cool. And basically this is similar to fine tuning. You need to add many more examples. Only two examples isn't enough. Ideally at least 20, I guess, or even more. But as soon as you feed the machine with good examples, good input and correct output, you can basically scale this. And this could be very powerful. Another nice thing uh, is this prompt gallery that is offered by the Google team. Basically, you have many different prompts that they have created. Let's take a look at this one, Marketing Description Writer. And you can see over here, they already created this uh, prompt, which you can also save your own prompts. And they have here like the input message, the target audience, and the output that they are expecting. So we have here a car, we have here a bicycle, the input target, the target audience is the mid-aged men and target audience in this case are environmentalists. And this is the output. So introducing the epitome of power and sophistication, the sleek and captivating sports car. It's more than just a car. It's a symbol of your passion for life and your unwavering commitment to excellence. And in this case is looking for a sustainable and eco-friendly way to get around, look no further than this black bicycle. So basically a pitch to this target audience, pitching this 
object it's a car in this case and this in this case it's a bicycle it's a pair of bicycle and now you can we can test this prompt with this basketball targeting athletes and we can just generate the response and it's going to be a pitch targeting athletes promoting a basketball so the model realizes that this is a basketball so this basketball is perfect for any athlete looking to improve their game whether you're a seasoned pro or just starting out this ball will help you take your skills to the next level blah 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 and so yeah so this is very cool the prompts gallery and the last thing that i wanted to share with you which is actually the most interesting thing and the most powerful is the fact that you can come here to the chat to the chat area and you can upload videos so what i did over here i uploaded a video which is my latest youtube video which was about autogen it was 16 minutes long 16 minutes long i uploaded all of it to here and i asked it to summarize the video give me a detailed summary of the video and the model it took it like 10 seconds to create this description so this video is about autogen a tool for building and running large language models the video starts with an overview of autogen's new update which includes the ability to add vision capabilities to models self-optimizing agents and the ability to use various models simultaneously for free the video then goes into more detail about each of these updates. The first update is the ability to add vision capabilities to model. This is done through the vision capability class, which allows you blah, blah, blah. I won't cover everything, but this is a very precise and correct description of what I covered in the video, which was basically covering self-optimizing agents, the vision capability and the agent optimizer class in Autogen. Check it out. It was the latest video that I published. And then the video concludes with a demonstration of how to use agent optimizer to improve performance of an Autogen agent. And what is cool over here is although the video was 16 minutes long, it only took 265,000 tokens, which is like 25% of the tokens limit of the context window limit that Google AI Studio allows you to leverage. So basically you can add videos that are almost one hour long and analyze them within a few seconds. It goes without saying that you can go to, let's say, Alex Friedman episode or a Joe Rogan episode in YouTube, just download the whole transcript, even if it's four or five hours long, and you can get a very, uh, you can get a summary very, very fast. Let's try to do this. Um, let's try to do this live. Alex Friedman. Alex Friedman and Mark Cuban. Let's okay. This is with Dana White. I actually saw or something this, like that. Started watching this. Um, let's see if I'm able to fetch the transcript, show transcript, toggle timestamps. So this is a one hour long, like 90 minutes long conversation. I'm going to copy the whole transcript. Let's paste it over here. Summarize this podcast. Let's, hopefully it allows me to do this. It worked before. Let's see. Paste as plain text. Okay. So let's see how fast it does. So one second, two seconds, three seconds, four, five, six. It feels as if it's going to throw an error, but I don't think so. But this is a, a, a big chunk of context. Ah, oh, it is counting. Okay. 
Yeah, we got it. It was like 30 seconds. Podcast summary, Lex Friedman interviews Dana White, president of the UFC. This podcast features an in-depth conversation with Dana White, the president of the UFC, discussing his lifelong passion for fighting and the remarkable rise of the organization. So we have the key points. We have basically everything that was discussed in the conversation. And this took us like 30 seconds, which is pretty amazing. Um, obviously, you can also add images. This is multimodal, so you can add images, you can add different files, you can even add folders, you can ha- add very long text textbooks um, because it has such a huge context window. So imagine this is only like 20%, not even, sorry, it's like 2% of the whole context window. So you can add hours of and hours of transcripts to to this uh, Google AI Studio and analyze them. So this is very powerful. I guess that's it for today, guys. I'm definitely going to keep exploring Google AI Studio, especially this uh, video analysis tool, which allows you to, again, it's amazing. You can upload videos over here and analyze them very fast. And this is very powerful. Obviously, upload textbooks, whatever you want, because you're almost not limited by the size of by the context window because you can add so many tokens. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Obviously, leave a comment with your feedback and any suggestions for improvement. Um, and until next time, keep on automating.